if you're a solo player and want to be able to farm for some great exotic armor rolls on a particular class, or maybe you're just still missing a couple exotics, Legendary Lost Sectors are a perfect way for solo players to farm for the exotics you want to get. These Lost Sectors are no joke at first and can be fairly difficult to complete solo, depending on how much under the recommended power level you are. This is a quick guide on how to complete the Exodus Garden 2A Legendary Lost Sector, and the tips I've learned after running it a bunch of times that will make your runs easy so you can get the exotic gear you want for any class. Hi guys, I'm Legionless and this channel is about helping you enjoy your games more. If you want to enjoy your games more and get recommended more Destiny 2 content on the channel, like weapon reviews and god roll guides for the gear you want to get, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter for more Destiny content. Before you step foot into this lost sector, there's a couple things you'll need to know to prepare your loadout. First, I wouldn't recommend being below 30 levels under the recommended power level, and I Ideally, you should be at least 20 power levels away from recommended. In this lost sector, there's only anti-barrier and overload champions. My favorite weapon for anti-barrier champions is the Ariana's Vow exotic hand cannon, which you can purchase from the Monument of Lost Memories kiosk in the tower. This gives you a ton of versatility to shoot champions, bosses, or any bulky enemy from far away while being able to easily break anti-barrier shields. The the only elemental shields in the legendary lost sector are void shields, so you'll want to run either a void heavy grenade launcher, like the crowd pleaser from Gambit, which I have a video linked in the description showing the best role you'll want to farm for, or you'll want to use the commemoration void heavy machine gun from the deep stone crypt raid. Both of these will help you pop void shields with out needing to get up close. You can also run a void subclass, but you'd be giving up stasis or solar grenades, which can be used to stun overload champions. For the overload champions, I like to use a mix between a kinetic scout rifle or auto rifle. With the overload scout rifle or auto rifle mods on my gloves, and the surge eater and thermal overload class armor mods from the season pass. The scout rifle is great at picking enemies off from far away, where I'm pretty safe, and the Season Pass mod combo lets you continuously stun Overload Champions. Your Stasis or Solar Grenade will stun the Overload Champion, and when a champion gets stunned, you immediately get your grenade back. This combo is best for grenades with some sort of area of effect, since there's a small window when a champion gets unstunned that it cannot be immediately stunned again. The grenade's area of effect and a kinetic weapon with overload will cover overload champions completely. For Warlocks, an extremely powerful option is to run Top Tree Dawnblade with the Sunbracers exotic gloves. Sunbracers make your solar grenades last longer, so you'll be able to just infinitely stun lock overload champions with the two seasonal mod combo. Getting Celestial Fire melee kills will get you infinite solar grenades for a few seconds so you can just throw as many of these as you want out, and overload champions and trash enemies won't be a problem for you at all. For titans, the Heart of Inmost Light exotic chest piece will help you regen your abilities faster. Just pop your barricade and your grenade will become available in a few seconds and do more damage than normal. Go either Sunbreaker or Behemoth, depending on the subclass you feel more comfortable with and which subclass you feel more comfortable with the grenade, so you can still stun overload champions if you choose not to go with a weapon with the overload mod equipped. One-Eyed Mask and Icefall Mantle are also not bad options because you can proc some self-heals from these exotics. For Hunters, I recommend going with Celestial Nighthawk and Bonham Tree Gunslinger so you can use your super to do a significant amount of the final boss's health. The more quickly you can kill the boss, the faster your runs will be, and the better chances at getting exotics you'll have. Dragon's Shadow is also a really strong exotic chest piece that will reload all of your weapons when you dodge, which will be especially helpful if you don't have the Ariana's Val Catalyst yet. The strategy in this lost sector is to kill all trash enemies first, and then focus on champions. You're gonna be really squishy in this 
this lost sector, especially when you get hit by any void damage. Starting off, there's an anti-barrier champion that spawns once you kill a few enemies in the first room, where the first force field wall disappears. This isn't too tough to kill, since you can just 1v1 the champion. Once all enemies in this small area die, an overload captain immediately spawns. Kill any trash enemies nearby so you can then focus the overload champion alone. Overload captains are one of the most annoying enemies you'll ever encounter because they'll teleport a bunch, and even when you think you stun them, they'll keep on shooting you. Make sure to get ready to stun both the overload or anti-barrier champions after doing some damage to them because they'll start recovering their health pretty quickly if you don't stun them again. The next area is probably the only difficult part in the Lost Sector. The majority of the enemies spawn here, and an anti-barrier and an overload champion spawn together here as well. This is where having the Scout Rifle and Ariana's Vow are really handy. Pick off enemies from cover with a Scout Rifle, and then snipe down the anti-barrier champion's health and barrier with Ariana's Vow. You'll want to focus the anti-barrier servitor here because it'll shield any enemies nearby so you cannot damage them. Once you kill the anti-barrier servitor, now you'll just clean up any remaining trash enemies and then focus the overload captain. This shouldn't be too bad because there really shouldn't be any enemies left. Once this room is cleared out, you're about to finish the lost sector. Now you just Ariana's Val the large servitor boss from this room you just cleared and pick off enemies that shoot you with your scout rifle. If you still have the heavy ammo to break the void shields on the servitors protecting the boss, great. Use that ammo to pop the void shields and then kill them so they can't hit you with their void damage. The general idea for this room is to just keep sniping away at the boss from safety with Ariana's until it's dead. Once it's dead, you can open the chest and hopefully get an exotic. Dying isn't that big a deal when doing these legendary lost sectors. You have a limited number of revives, but you can get another revive for every champion you kill. Once you hit the 15 minute mark, you'll lose all revives, so if you die again, you wipe and have to start the lost sector over from the beginning. Just take the lost sector slow and steady. Kill all of the enemies shooting at you, and remember that it's more important for you to stay alive and get back into cover than to push your luck and die. If you want to enjoy your games more, subscribe to the channel and like this video to help me out. If you have any other tips for this legendary lost sector, comment down below so we can all have an easier time farming for our exotic gear. Thanks for watching.